Good evening. Um, today we're going to just two minutes to start the class. Today is the class number 12 and uh, we're going to practice today or learn today how to use should and should not or should it. Okay, and right now I'm just waiting for the people getting into the class. I will be in mute uh, for two minutes. So waiting people get into the class. Right now, there, um, it's eight o'clock. So I hope uh, the people is getting to the class in a couple of minutes. People are just um, getting up to the class today. So I have already sent a WhatsApp a chat message. Okay. Good evening, Floor. Thank you for joining us. Do you hear me? Hola, teacher. Buenas okay. noches. Buenas noches. How are you today? Bien, gracias a Dios. Good. Lloviendo aquí en mi pueblo. Ok, aquí está también. Por acá está pringando. Está llovinando. Good evening, Tatiana. Thank you for joining us. Ok. So what we're going to do right now, we're going uh, to discuss what we learned uh, um, last class yesterday, right? So as of now, what I'm uh, uh, going to do, I will just share the screen uh, to show um, the presentation for today. Remember, today is the present or video conference number 12. And then today's class, we're going uh, to learn how to use should and should not. Okay, so in what situations we cannot use those type of models in order just to um, give advice uh, or say that the, that is a good thing to do or is not a good thing to do. Okay, so we have uh, the class objective for today. At the end of the class, students will be able to react 
to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work by using should or should not. Okay, sometimes there is some uh, appropriate um, situations or um, scenarios that we can find at work. And there are some others that not uh, so appropriate uh, or that is a bad behavior on those situations. We're going to address that. Okay, we have the agenda. We're going to go to the warm up. We're going to recall the previous learning, just a few seconds. Uh, we're going to discussion and conversation practice. After that, we're going to go to the role play. Then uh, we go on to how to use should and should not. Thank you, uh, Andres, for joining us. Then we have good and bad behaviors at business meetings. And then we're going to make a little review about that. Okay, as always, as before starting the class, so we do a review what we learned in the last class, right? So in this case, because uh, you are three only, Flor, Tatiana, and Andres. So what do you remember about yesterday? Okay, I, I understand, Flor, that you didn't, um, you were in uh, yesterday class, but that's why we are going to make a little review about that. Okay, uh, Tatiana and Andres, what can you tell me about yesterday class? Okay, yesterday, uh, uh, you were talking about uh, uh, how you used to work, work, work in secret, how mind you, how oh, mind you. Would you mind? Uh huh. And, oh. uh, and the work. Okay, at work, very good. Um, there's this. Okay. okay, very good. Andres, what can you add to that? Okay, and Andres, do you hear me? Okay, I think he has issue with the internet. Okay, yes, basically that is what we learned yesterday, how to use cool and uh, would you mind? Okay, just remember when we use wool, would you mind? Thank you, Jenny, for joining us. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Just remember when we use would you mind, we need to use the verb with the ing form. Okay, would you mind uh, uh, calling me? Or oh, would you mind calling the plan manager? And um, when we use cool, remember this is a polite way to make a request. Es muy fácil decir, eh, Jenny, eh, cierre la puerta. O Jenny, presente el reporte mañana. O Flor, eh, dígale a su jefe que hay una meeting para más tarde. OK. Es Más fácil decir así las cosas, pero suena muy autoritario. Y con estas palabras, cool, and uh, would you mind, suavizamos esa, uh, ese tono autoritario. Lo pedimos de una manera más amable. Ok, I can say, uh, Jenny, could you, please, uh, could you call your boss and tell him that we have a meeting today? Okay, that is better if you say, Jenny, llame a su jefe y dígale que hay una cita, oh, tenemos una reunión ahora. Okay, you see the difference? And also, when you use would you mind, remember that we use the ING form. Would you mind calling? Would you mind playing? Would you mind um, setting? Would you mind writing? Okay, everything, the verb, with would you mind is with the ing form. And remember that when we have the would you mind, thank you, Julia, for joining us. Cuando tenemos el would you mind, la respuesta positiva va a ser no. No problem, not at all. Um, no, go ahead. Okay. So, es un poco tricky, un poco confuso esta uh, clase de pregunta. Si decimos sí, estamos diciendo una, estamos dando a entender algo negativo. Si decimos no, en 
En este caso, estamos dando a entender algo que nuestra respuesta es positiva. Ok, just remember that. Ok, what else do you remember? Yes. Vocabulary that you remember, guys. Okay, remember yesterday we went over to a conversation, right? So I played the uh, audio and you listen uh, to a conversation. So what that conversation was about? Yes? Alguien se acuerda de que era la sobre qué era la conversación de ayer? About the medicine. Okay, about medicine, very good. Remember also we can use cool and we can use made and uh, also can when just to give advice, right? So if we use that, we use to give an advice or suggestion in this case. We're talking about suggestion. Okay, when I say cool I have, the lady says something and uh, it says, could I have something for a cough? In that case, in that context, the cool is for request, porque está pidiendo algo, right? But in the other way around, when uh, she say, when the pharma, with the pharmacist uh, says, you could get a jar of this new lotion, in that case, or in that scenario, he's giving a suggestion. Okay, acuérdese que una, uh, una sugerencia no quiere decir mandato, right? It's up to the people or up to the person if he's take it or not. Okay, she or he decided um, if he or she takes that advice of that suggestion. Okay, so do you have any question, guys? Alguna pregunta? No? Everything is okay? Okay, very good. So what we're going to do as a review, we continue with that part. So I will share this part the screen that we have here. And uh, what we're going to do is we go over to um, exercise number six. And this, in this case, you need to write polite request, okay? We can write five polite requests, five. Okay, remember it could be related to work or um, base of the situation you want. And then uh, uh, we're going to uh, work in pairs. Base of those five requests, you need to create a conversation. Okay, vamos a crear cinco peticiones, de uh, hacer unas cinco peticiones de una forma amable. De esas cinco, vamos a, des a desarrollar una conversación y la vamos a presentar a todos a la clase. Okay, right now we have two, four, five. So that means one group of three and uh, one couple. I will, I will create the couples and the uh, group. Okay, let's do this. Okay, yes. Hablar cualquier conversación. No, tiene que crear cinco, uh, tiene que crear en pareja cinco peticiones amables. De esas cinco peticiones van a crear una conversación. Que okay, esas cinco las van a, a, a eh, van a crear un contexto y las van a meter en la conversación. Por ejemplo, I can say, hey, hello, Jenny, how are you today? Good. Okay. okay. Uh, would you mind if, uh, would you mind if I take um, your cell phone? So I need to make a phone call. If you see, 
le estoy de, de una de una manera amable le estoy pidiendo algo y ahí puedo contestar not problem es como not a problem sí. y, y de ahí voy. así es y ahí empiezan a desarrollar las cinco peticiones ok very good is it clear now yes yes okay very good so andres flor and jenny uh, let's do something um let me just Okay, this one, so we're going to work Jenny, Floor, and um, Andres going to work together. And uh, we have Julia and Tatiana, they are going to work together. Okay, let's get in the groups, please, in the pairs. Hola Andrés. Hola, hola. ¿Cómo está? Bien, ¿y usted? Todo bien. Flor, no Qué bueno. No, ya va a entrar, lo que pasa es que no ha entrado. Ok. No, ya va, porque sí, ahí está. Podría ser así, como que yo le diga a Andrés, Hello Andrés, I lost my key. Uh -huh. Can you take, que mm, <ríe> me presta? Would you, you would you borrow me? Could you borrow me? Si me puede prestar. Um, In this case, could you lend me? Could you lend me? Let me, mm -hmm. let me uh, um, some money, for example. So I need to make, I need to go on to the bus to my house. So I don't know. It's mm -hmm. up to you. You're going to play the situation. ¿Cómo se dice prestar? Lend. Lend. Prestar, L-E-N-D. Yes. E-N-D, then. Si es con I, es borrow. Si es con, perdón. I. I, con ¿cómo I. Sí? I borrow, you lend. Borrow, how is that borrow? B -O -R -R -O -W. O -R -R -O -W. B-O-R-R-R-O-W. O-W. Yes, borrow. ¿Y significa prestar también? Yes. ¿Y cuándo voy a usar uno y cuándo voy a usar el Yo otro? Yo presto, I borrow, uh -huh. and you lend me. Usted me presta. Uh -huh. mm, yo presto, usted me presta. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Ok. Let's say that and I will move on to the next cup. Ok. Hola, Flor. Hola. Puede responder las preguntas, pa, las respuestas para, para Google, Tatiana. Podría ser las que él estaba mencionando ahorita, ¿verdad? No sí. problem, no sé qué. Sí, así es. Ok, no problem, así uh -huh. puede ser. Vamos a ver la siguiente. La otra. Podríamos poner otra como si puedes contestar el teléfono. Pero ese sería como con cool. ¿Cómo se pronuncia, teacher? Cool. Cool you. Cool you. Sería, would you mind? Y el otro sería, could you? Could you? En el otro no, el verbo no lleva el ing, ¿verdad? No, con could, no. no. Solo con would you. Entonces would you sería, mind? could you? Es, could you answer the phone? No. Could you answer the phone? No. O answer could, solo could, es... you, could you answer the phone? Sí. Ok, se nos va a unir Erika. Entonces va a trabajar Julia, Tatiana y Erika. Ok. Ok, ya está entrando por ahí. Teacher, Carla se va a conectar más tarde. Salió tarde de la oficina. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. No problem. 
Good evening, Erica. How are you today? Good evening. Good and you? Good. Thanks for asking. Okay, Erica, right now um, you are going to work with Julia and Tatiana. So you need to create five requests like yesterday, right? So you see, could you and then would you mind? So based on those five requests, you need to create a conversation. So a short conversation. No tiene que ser una conversación larga. So it could be a short conversation that you interact, you, your three. Okay. Okay. Okay, continue and I will move on uh, to the next group. Okay. Bye. Hola. Hola, hola, Flor. Pues sí, vea. Bye. Sí. Vaya, son cinco. Primero nos saludamos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Sería, así como usted dice primero en español, hola Flor, ¿cómo estás? Uh -huh. Y luego yo le digo, bien, oh, gracias. Yo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y este, me pregunta después, ¿qué hice? Este es el reporte. Uh -huh. Primero la va a poner en español. Sí. Vamos a ver. ¿Qué hiciste? Yo le tengo... Yo le digo si me lo podría enviar. Could you send? Yes, could you, you send? It to me right now. Okay, guys, Carlos is going to join us. So you're going to work with Carlos as well. Okay, teacher. Okay, ya va a entrar. Entonces, Flor, ¿cómo sería? Call yourself. Could, Could you send? Uh -huh. It's to me right now. O puede ser, uh -huh. pero la primera sería, do you have, do you done the report? Sería, ¿verdad? Ahí sería, have you done? Si have, you. Te, have you done? Si ha sí. terminado. Ok, have pero you, you can say, you can say uh, do you finish? Do you finish? Okay. What did you do? Si lo hizo. Estamos hablando en un pasado. Did you do? Okay. Did you do that report? Okay. Uh -huh. Good evening, yeah. Carlos. Thank you for joining us. Did you do? Okay, explain, uh, uh, Carlos, what we are doing uh, while I move on uh, to the next group. Okay. Please, Car thank you. Carlos, este. Mm -hmm. To talk to you. Is your brother, he needs to talk to you. Así mm -hmm. sería. Mm -hmm. Entonces, eh, de ahí puede contestar, este, eh, ¿te importaría decirle que, o le puedes decir que le hablaré en un minuto? Entonces sería, could you, could you say, could eh, you tell him, could you tell him, eh, in one minute. Yeah, who do you take him? Tell. Tell. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Con I I N G, ¿verdad? No. No. Tell. Y después him. Him. Ah, tell him. Tell him. Call to tell him. Wait a minute. Puedo decirle, ay, que le hablaré en un minuto. Ay, I will call. Si sí, le, le, le va a llamar. Puede ser contactado, ¿verdad? Ay, 
I'll, yes. I will or I'll. Yeah, I, I, I will call. Uh -huh, I sería call. I will or I'll call. In a one minute. One minute. Mm -hmm. I call him in one minute. 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 Okay, continue. I will move on to the next group. Okay, que vamos ya. Ahora mismo. Ah, no tiene, tiene razón. Está mi compañera y quiere las cosas para ayer, ¿va? ¿Qué dice Ani? Pareciera que trabajara en el banco, ¿va? ¿Qué? Pareciera. Así me sentí bien identificado. Ah. <risa> bueno. A ver. Vamos a ver. Aquí viene la respuesta como negativa, pero positiva. Sure, not problem. ¿Puede ser? ¿Qué les parece? Sí. Está bien. Sería, no en vez de decir sure, de un solo sería not a problem. Not. Porque sure está dando. Una, Como seguro. Ajá. Es, o sea, si le importa seguro, o sea, sí, sí. No, seguro, teacher, entonces no, sería not a not problem. The, not, teacher, not a problem. Uh -huh. Yes, Andrés. Como dijo este, que medio me acuerdo, este. No problem, of course. ¿O cómo fue que dijo ayer? No, go ahead. Aquí lo tengo, vamos a ver. No, dice. Of course not, dijo. Of course ¿eh? not, yes. Así eh, dije. Dijo también. Okay. No, con, no con please. No, no importa. No, sí, con a eso please, es cuando uh -huh. sí. Y también dijo no, not at all. At, at all. At That's, all. At all. That's correct. Cualquiera podemos usar de las dos. De... Yes. No. Ok. ¿Cuál, chicos? ¿Cuál es el? Les, les, les parece. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo que iba a ser not of or of course? You can say of course not. Of course not. Es, no of, hay problema. No. Oh, okay. Oh, ¿Está bien eso? No. Of course Not. Ahí va una pena llevamos, qué tremendo. Vamos a otra. Vamos a ver otras que se les ocurra. Carlos, Lord. Pues sí, porque como es una conversación la que estamos armando. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, Eh, como va, como ya pasó lo del hermano, uh -huh. ¿qué podríamos hacer? Eh, eh, pero... Le podríamos decir, no sé si es, ¿can I go eh, to the cinema? Con, con C, con C o con, doble, con C, Z tiene. Con C, ¿quién? C-A-N. Ah. Uh -huh. I can, ¿Qué, ¿cómo fue la, la oración? Can I go to the cinema? Ah. Sí. Y esa la hacemos como pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá, esa es pregunta. Entonces le podemos poner... Eh, Ok, no llegas tarde. No sé, algo así. Ok, don't... Don't... Arrive late. Or don't get late. Don't get late. Así. Ok. Ok. Don't let, let late. Let get. Get late. Get. <laughs> sí. Yes. Late. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. Don't be late podría ser otra posibilidad. Don't be late. Okay. Creo que mejor así. Don't be late. Don't be late. Uh -huh. Don't be late. Y la última le podemos decir, me puede hacer palomitas. ¿Te importaría tenerme palomitas? Mm -hmm. Sería, would you mind? Would you mind? Would you mind? Es get, no. Get in. Would you mind getting popcorn? Popcorn, very good. Pop, pop. Popcorn. Popcorn. You might get in popcorn. Okay, Joel se nos va a unir. Okay, good evening, Joel. Good evening, teacher. We are Sorry just for coming late, teacher. Don't worry, that's fine. Um, uh, just uh, we are creating a little conversation using request. So you're working with Julia, Tatiana, and Erica. Like yesterday. Like yesterday, yes. Using the request that we use cool and uh, will you mind? Okay. Okay. So they have uh, something a little uh, prepared so you can discuss what they have so you're going to join to the group. I will move on to the next group and so you continue, please. Mm -hmm. Don't forget. Well, teacher? Yes. Para salvar. Se escucha bien o está bien dicho. Don't forget at the report in tomorrow presentation. Don't what? Can you repeat? At, okay. Can don't you forget. No don't. olvides present, agregar o pres, uh, presentar el reporte en la presentación de mañana. Agregar. So don't, uh, yes, you can say don't forget to add. To add. Uh -huh. Or to include. So you can mm -hmm. say include as well the presentation or the report for tomorrow's presentation. Uh, tomorrow in the tomorrow. tomorrow's tomorrow's for tomorrow That's presentation. Right. For tomorrow. For tomorrow presentation. presentation for, yes. For tomorrow presentation. Ok, ahora él va a responder. ¿Qué va a responder? Vamos a ver. Ahí sí podemos agregar tal vez la palabra agree para decir de acuerdo. Yes, you can say that. I agree with that. You can say I it. agree with that. Yes. I agree que? With that. With that. Mm -hmm. Ahora vamos con otra, otra oración. I agree with that. Ah, agree agree with, with, with that. With that. Would you mind? Ahora podríamos usar esto. Would you mind? Me podría llevar a la casa. <laughs> you can say, could you give me? Could you give me? Could you give me a ride home? Or could you take me home? Sería. Um, After work. Podría ser. Yes. Me podría llevar al trabajo a la casa después del trabajo. Yes. Could you take me a home after work? Could you take? Uh, could you take me? Yes. Could you take me? Could you take me? Could you take me? Llevar, llevar en este caso, en este contexto. Ah, okay. Porque podría de... tomar, ¿verdad? Yes. Es Ajá, tomar. tomar. Take es tomar. You can say take a take a meal, take something, grab something, or um, also in this case, in this scenario, you can say, could you take me home? 
after work. Could you take me at home or solo could you take me home? Could you take me home? Could you take me home after work? After work, yes. Work. Okay, continue and I will move on to the next group. Sorry. Okay, um, just a reminder, you have five more minutes. Don't worry, just have five more minutes. <coughs> La de what you might get in pork crumbs. Mm -hmm. Es como, puedes traerme palomitas de maíz? Conseguirme palomitas de maíz. ¿Cómo va? Yo lo le escuché poco. Would you mind? Would you mind? Mhm. Getting, 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 getting pop popcorn. Podría darme palomitas de maíz. ¿Qué ¿Qué sería? No le importaría, ajá, perdón. ¿Te importaría traerme palomitas de maíz? Entonces ahí, Carla, pusimos no problem como respuesta. Ok, you have five more minutes. Uh, solo tengo, solo no, tengo en la... No importa solo cómo voy. vaya. Yes, Flor. No, soy Carla. I was thinking in Florida, I was thinking in the other group. Solo tengo duda en la que le están diciendo a Joel, porque con el quién, yo creo que sí se puede responder, ya sea sí o no. Solo con el will you mind se tiene que responder como no para decir que sí, que está bien. Así es. ¿Cuál, es. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta con el quién, Carla? Es que eh, la pregunta que le salió de Joel tiene que decir eh, algo así como ¿Can I go to the cinema? Eh, so, the answer will be um, yes, you yes. can. Yes, you can. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Como más cerrada entonces la respuesta. Sí, que esa es una pregunta cerrada. Es, ah, bueno. Can I go to the cinema? Yes, you can. Es que, solo, teacher, lo voy a decir en español solo para que me quede claro. Solo con el will you mind es que tenemos que responder no para decir que estamos de acuerdo. Pero con el, que, con el could puedo responder tal cual. Ah, sí. Si dice sí, es una respuesta positiva. Si dice no, es una respuesta negativa. Solo que en el would you mind, si ¿Cómo? lleva would you mind. No, acaba de tener de la vara. Sí, se, no. se, ¿cómo se llama? Se cambia la respuesta. La respuesta uh -huh. negativa viene siendo positiva. Y la uh -huh. respuesta positiva viene siendo la negativa. Pero tiene que ir would you mind. Si no va would you mind. Y si solo va a will, ahí la respuesta positiva es positiva y la negativa es negativa. Pero si va will you mind, ahí esa, esa son esas tres palabras, will you mind, ahí sí, la negativa es positiva y la positiva es negativa. Ok, thank you. Welcome. Ok, two minutes, I will move on to the next group. Will you mind going buy coffee? Bike. You can say, would you mind buying? Mine. Oh, going to mine. buy. Uh, sería, will you mind? Buying coffee. Buying, buy, buy, teacher, or you're still Buying, buy, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. Y amablemente le responde. No. No paso por ahí. Así respondería vos. Ya. Yeah. 
Me desvía de la ruta. Da gracias que te di raíz. You can say, it's not my way. It's not. Bueno. My way. It's not in, on my way. It's not on my way. Bueno, está buenísimo eso. ¿Cómo se escribe la última palabra que pronunció? Way es W, W, A, Y. Way. Way. It's not on my way. On my way, yes. Como que no está en mi camino, ¿verdad? That's right, yes. Okay. Pero podría pasar, no habría... <laughs> Puede decirle, pero me podría desviar, no habría problema. <laughs> yes, but you could, you could um, go to that. Or you can avoid that, so you can say that. Would I? Sería, you can or you could? You could. You Pero could. podría. Mm -hmm. You can. Um, ya sería otra respuesta. Mm, otra pregunta. <laughs> uh -huh. You could. You could pass or you could um, take the street or the way to that coffee shop o el lugar donde eh, donde van a comprar you can pass the you can take the street to the el lugar no sé si ya uh, pusieron como contexto el lugar o solo no. es ok so you can pass or you can take the street to the coffee shop for example O podríamos poner como su... Ah, ah, no, pero quiero ver. A coffee. El problema es que sea... Shop. Dicho, yo, yo lo puse así como... Eh, but I could take the way to the coffee shop. But you could no. take the way to the coffee shop. Yes, you can use that. No hay ningún problema. Okay, very good. So we are going to stop the activity and I will move on everybody to the main room. It doesn't matter have you not finished, so you can uh, present the conversation as you have right now. Okay, okay I don't know why this way for people getting to the main room. Okay, we have 42 seconds left, 10 seconds, 9, 8, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to present uh, the conversation that you have uh, done. So right now we're going to start with Andres. Carlos, Daniel, Flor, and uh, uh, Jenny. Okay, let's just start with the conversation. ¿Quién va conmigo? Uh, uh, empiezo. Did you do finish the report? The report? Yes. Teacher, ahí tenía una pregunta yo. Yes. Aunque, aunque el compañero me dice, did, do you? Yo le puedo responder, yes, I do. No, o, yes, yes, I, I did. did. Yes, I did. Ah, la pregunta aunque es... Aunque estoy usando, did, do you. 
No, acuérdense que la pregunta es Do you do? Did you, oh, okay. Did you do a report? And in that case, you can say, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay. Okay. Dele. Carlos. Hola. Eh, la otra fue, how would you tell me how after war? Uh, pero ahí sería la... Sería, could you send me, or no? Could you take me? Could you take me home after work? Ah, okay, okay. Si, sí, okay, no problem. Okay. Y la otra era, would you mind stopping to buy coffee when you come home? It's not in my way, but I call Take away the coffee shop. Okay, very good. Okay, thank you this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good sí, job. Ahí, ahí lo faltó algunas partes, creo. No sé si no las copió bien. No, la otra no las copié. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Está bien, entonces. Okay, very good. Okay, next group. We have Erika, Joel, Julia, Carla, and Tatiana. Okay. Uh, the, first, the first is, would you mind making a coffee? Uh, okay, no problem. Okay, very good. Could you answer the phone? Sure, it's your brother. And he needs to tell to you. Okay, very good. Would you mind? Teacher, I have a question. Yes. Um, in this case, uh, should is your brother and he needs or he, need he to needs to talk? He needs. needs with S. Yes. Okay. Estamos hablando en presente y estamos hablando de otra persona. Mm -hmm. So he needs to talk with you. To you. Talk to you. Talk to, talk to you. Mm -hmm. Talk to you. I'm going to say talk to, he is speak with. I need to speak with you and I need to talk to you. I speak by ir con with, he talk by ir con to. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, very good. You finish? No, okay. how you tailing? I will call you tailing. I will call uh one minute. Okay, right now. Okay, very good. In that case is will you? Will, will, will you, you? Will you mind telling? Porque si está utilizando un ing, un gerundio sería con will you mind. Okay. Y el verbo va a ir en su forma base, tendría que ir el cool. Okay. Ah. You y el verbo en su forma base. Okay. okay. Can I go to the cinema? Yes, you can. Okay, very good. Uh, would you mind getting popcorn? No problem. Okay. Very good. Would you mind getting popcorn? No problem. Okay, if you saw, uh, as you did, you did some um, kind or some polite request using cool and wool. Very good, guys. Okay, do you have any question regarding that? Alguna pregunta con respecto a eso? No? Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next part of the class. I will share the screen that I have. And we go over to the discussion and conversation practice. So we're going to discuss, in this case, we're going to discuss these together. Okay, I just plan it and start as in peers, but right now we're going to discuss the Let's start question on page 31. 
as a group. Okay, the first question that we have is, does your company have regulation about employees' behavior? Okay, name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. Okay, for example, uh, does your company have regulation about employees' behavior? In my case, yes. Okay, in, the, uh, in both companies that I work for, there are um, behave, uh, employees' uh, behavior, regulations about that. So in my first job, which is the call center, there are some uh, behaviors that are not allowed. For example, uh, if you hang up a call, okay, uh, on purpose, si usted cuelga una llamada a propósito, no es una eh, conducta aceptable. So if you um, have an argument with um, a customer, it's not acceptable either. Okay, you need to be polite. So what it, what the employee regulations does your company have? ¿Cuáles son algunas regulaciones en sus compañías? Volunteers. In my, in my case, is uh, no podemos tener este relaciones interpersonales con los compañeros. So we can uh, have uh, relationships, uh -huh. okay, and um, at work, okay, at the workplace, very good. What else? ¿Qué otras? Volunteers, Carla. I don't know, how do you say contratar? Hire. Uh, how? Hire is H E R E. Hire. Hire. Uh, hire. Mm -hmm. uh, you can hire part, um, family. Okay, you can have, you, you're not allowed to hire uh, relatives. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. very good. Very good. What is another example? Any other volunteer? Julia? Is there are some uh, uh, behavior regulations in at your company or at your school? Eh, como cumplir con el, la jornada establecida en el contrato, teacher? So you can uh, um, say you have to comply with your uh, shift. Shift es la jornada laboral. Okay, well, you have to be on time. Anna, you need to leave on time. Very good. So you have to comply with your schedule. Okay, very good. Teacher. Eric, yes. And in the chart, I can watch uh, words. Behaviors. What Beha is? Behavior is una conducta. Oh. Okay, we have, let me just to, this okay this is behavior we have a bad behavior una mala conducta and we have a good behavior okay que es una buena conducta en este caso si hay regulaciones sobre las conductas de los empleados okay so basically that's the what uh, we are dis discussing right okay very good so mm, okay. uh, jenny or Yes, what, yes, go ahead. Um, what are some good behaviors? Uh, yeah. ¿Cuáles son algunas conductas eh, difíciles o, o problemáticas? Así sería. No, ahí lo que no. está preguntando si la compañía tiene algunas Estrictas. Tiene regulaciones con respecto a la conducta de los empleados. Código de conducta. Así es. Entonces, hay cosas que no se deben hacer, siempre basado en el rubro o el line of business que la compañía tiene. Eso está en el reglamento interno de cada empresa. That's right. Very good. 
por ejemplo, en el primer trabajo que yo tengo, eh, si yo llego tarde, eh, la mayor parte de veces a mi hora de entrada, eh, va a ir por eh, llamadas de atención. La primera sería una llamada de atención verbal. La segunda sería una llamada de atención escrita. La tercera sería una suspensión. Eh, que sería el día y el séptimo. Y la cuarta sería ya el despido de la empresa. Entonces va paso a paso. De esa forma se regula ese aspecto. No solo en el aspecto, al menos en la compañía, no solo en el aspecto de las llegadas tardes, sino también de, eh, con respecto a las métricas o metas que se tienen. Si usted no cumple con el trabajo, tiene que dar alguna explicación por qué no se cumplió. Por error del sistema, porque eh, había mucho trabajo y solo usted estaba... Y hay diferentes aspectos, pero si es una actividad recurrente, obviamente que no es, eh, no es culpa del sistema, ni es culpa de que haya mucho trabajo. Ahí ya es la organización de esa persona. So, por eso se toman las medidas o las regulaciones para poder llevar un seguimiento de conducta respecto a ese campo. Ok, so, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's clear, Joel, si está claro. Yeah, yes, okay. teacher. Very Thank good. You. Welcome. Ok, Jenny, what are the regulations that are in, in your company? Tiene el, el, el micrófono en mute. Ok, no, don't worry. Digamos, cumplir el orden jerárquico. No sé so, you can es. respect the organizational chart. Yes. Okay. ¿Cómo se dice? Respect, respetar. Respect. respect. The organizational chart. Uh, organizational chart. Okay. And other use a uh, appropriate language, lenguaje apropiado. Okay. Yes. Between the partner. Okay, so you be respect your partner by using the an um, appropriate language. Okay, very good. Very good. Andres, what about you? Podría ser teacher no usar el el teléfono. So very good. So you avoid to use the cell phone. Okay, eh, tal vez teléfono personal, este, personal so your personal uh, phone your personal uh, cell phone in this case very good what else Carlos what about you la misma que quiero ver han dicho varias de las que me tocan a mí <laughs> la de los parientes <laughs> de los teléfonos, eh, también lo de las llegadas tardes, la tenemos. Eh, ah, no, eh, puede ser una, no compartir las tarjetas de acceso. Ok, very good. So don't share the access card o don't take it, porque a veces hay áreas en las que ciertas o cierto personal no está autorizado a entrar, right? Por ejemplo, cuando yo estaba en el edificio, una de las reglas es que todos tenemos nuestro badge, tenemos igual el, el ID y hay una access card, que son con las que abren las, las, las puertas. Entonces hay ciertos pisos a que a ciertas personas tienen acceso, no a todos. Y, ahí, y ya los jefes, los managers, supervisors, So they have access to all the floors, right? But not all the staff. Entonces, una de las cuestiones ahí, no, don't tailgate people. Tailgate or tailgating is cuando usted pasa su access card, le abre la puerta y entra alguien que no está autorizado. 
That is a tailgate, okay? Entonces, don't tailgate people or don't allow uh, access people that are not allowed to enter on those areas. Very good. So, uh, if in this case, so many companies has their own regulations based on their policies, internal policies, right? So, basado en las políticas internas de cada empresa, dependiendo del rubro, Así es, eh, la uh, regulación es de en la conducta que los empleados tienen que tener. Ok, la mayoría, de hecho, hay una de las cosas o de las eh, conductas que es común entre todas las compañías es respect. Respect your coworkers. Address in a respect way. Very good, guys. Okay, if you see, we have a conversation there. So it, this is between Carl, uh, Claudia, excuse me, and Raul. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over to that uh, conversation. So if you have any questions regarding uh, the vocabulary, let me know. Okay, so I'm going to read that one and then we're going to practice it. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message messages after the meeting. And uh, we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Do you have any question about vocabulary? Either. Either es tampoco. Eh, como por ejemplo, uh, we shouldn't talk to about him. Eh, acuérdense que está hablando de él, de que uh, contestan los mensajes en las reuniones. Entonces, no es correcto hacer eso pero tampoco es correcto hablar de él de esa manera. So that you say, tampoco. Okay, any other question? Yeah, should not chat. Should not chat es eh, no debería de chatear o contestar los mensajes, en este caso, eh, en la reunión. El should es debería. Ajá. Chat es a ver. Chat es chatear. Es un verbo. Yes. Mm -hmm. O chat también puede ser no necesariamente que esté contestando los mensajes, but chat, we are chatting right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Vamos, eh, chatting, so we are talking, we're speaking, so that's an, an informal way to say sh speak. In this case, because he's talking about the conversations on the phone, so that means chat. Okay, any other? No. Instead, the ultima? Instead is en vez de. En vez de hablar de él, deberíamos de ayudarle. Okay. Let's practice the conversation. I can't believe it, Robert. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Uh huh. I can't, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. You're right. You're right. He should not shout in a meeting. He should, he should not chat in, in a meeting. Absolute, absolutely. 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 That is not polite. That is, that that is, not, is not polite. polite. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meeting. He, he should, should answer, answer his messages, messages after the, the meetings. And we should not talk about him. And we should, we should not, not talk about, about him. him. That's not polite either. That's, That's not, not polite, polite, polite either. either. Agree. 
agree. We should help him we should instead. Him. We, should we, should we should help him, him instead. 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 Solo le quitan la A. Instead. 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 Very good. La A no se pronuncia. It will be instead. Okay, very good. Now I'm Claudia and you Raul. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. You right. should the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer. He's not and we should not talk about him. And we should That's not polite either. Very good. Uh, not polite either. Yeah. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, now we reverse roles. You're Claudia and I'm Raul. One, two, three. I can't believe it. I can't Robert believe it. Is Robert is addicted, addicted to phone. his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in a minute. Absolutely, that, that is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. I agree. We should help him instead. Very good. Okay, Joel and uh, Julia. Joel will be Raul and Julia will be Claudia. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his his phone. Do you see him? You're right. He showed no chat in a minute. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Eighty. We should help. We should help him instead. Okay, very good. That remember that is. Did you see him? And absolutely, very good. And uh, um, that is agree. Very good. Okay, so we have Tatiana and Carla. Tatiana will be Claudia, and Carla will be Raúl. I can't believe it. Robert is ad addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Polite. He should answer his message, message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. I agree. We should help him and say, very good. Okay, we have Jenny and Andres. Yo inicio, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh, yes, Jenny. Okay. okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting, and we should not talk about him. That's not polite, it is. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, very good. Just remember messages. Message is one, messages two or more. And uh, the other part is talk talk very good carlos and flor carlos will be raul and flor will be claudia i can't believe it robert is addicted to this phone did you see him you were right he showed no chat in a meeting absolutely that is not polite he should answer his message after the meetings and we should not tell about him. That's not polite, Eddie. 
Either. Agree. We should help him in class. Very good. Okay, very good. As we, as you see, we practice the conversation and I corrected the pronunciation about that. Okay, so we're going to move on right now is, um, to the part three. So we're going to discuss this. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? Yes, guys. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? Respect. Okay, respect. Very good. What else? Besides respect? Only respect. Uh, help help us okay. each other. Help, okay, or uh, cooperate or cooperation from them. Very good. What else? What else do you expect from your co workers? Honestly. Honestly, very good. So they are honest with the job they do or the tasks they do at work and honest with everybody at work. Okay, second question. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Mm -hmm. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Okay, for example, one of the rude um, behaviors that I don't expect the coworkers do as just saying uh, bad words or, go off, or they course to everybody. Okay, uh, decir malas palabras a, en el ambiente de trabajo a sus compañeros. Right? So you ba basically is the other way around. You have to respect in the first question and I don't expect the coworkers are on respect. Very good. What else? ¿Qué es lo que esperamos que, eh, que no hagan los compañeros de trabajo? O que no se comporten de la mejor manera. Shout. Okay, shout or yell. Okay, so when you shout the people, so it's very, I don't like that. So if someone shout at me, I, I'm a so patient. Believe me, but that I'm patient. But if someone is shut up, me, I will do the same thing. It doesn't matter. It will be the my boss, my immediate boss. But that's the way that I am. So that's why I'm a patient, right? So I just um, get some of the bad behaviors, but I don't. Uh, um, I don't get some others, right? Okay, very good. Okay, guys. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to move on to the next part. So we're going to go to the shoe and shoot it. And I will going to share the next slide. Okay, so we already role played the conversation that about Julia, about Claudia, and the other guy. And uh, right now we are going to move how to use shoe and shoot it. Okay, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to share a conversation similar like, the, similar like yesterday. And I will share also the audio. So you will see how to use this part. Let me just to verify something here. Okay. Okay, and I will share this part. Okay, let me know if you see the screen. 
Yeah. Okay, so based on the pictures you see, what happening? Don't read the conversation, just see the picture. What is happening in that picture? ¿Qué es lo que pasa en, en esa pequeña foto? The man is, is a little sick. Okay, the man is sick. Very good. If you see the tissues, they have a lot of tissues on the desk and uh, there are tissues in uh, the trash can. Very good. Okay, so he's a little sick. Probably he has cold or something like that. Okay, so let's listen uh, to this conversation and then we're going to go over to the uh, vocabulary. Unit 12. It really works. Page 78, exercise two, conversation. Health problems. Part A, listen and practice. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Okay, do you have questions about vocabulary? Awful. Awful is yak, horrible. What else? Yes, do you have any other questions about vocabulary? Chop up is como una cucharada. Uh, chop up es cuando usted va partiendo. Ah, lo está picando. Uh, ah, yes, okay. chop up. Um, yuk. Yak es guacala. Uh, uh, yak is the expression. Okay, any other? <coughs> No. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next part. In this case, we're going to practice this conversation. Okay, let's repeat after each line. Hi, Craig. How are you? Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? How are you? Very good. Not so good. Not so good. Not so good. I have a terrible cold. I have a terrible cold. Really? I have a terrible cold. Really? 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 That's too bad. That's too bad. That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. You should, you you should, be, should be at home, at home in, bed. In, bed. in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. It's really, it's important, really important, important to get a lot of rest. Of rest. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And have you taken anything for it? And have Are you, you taken anything, anything for, for, it? for it? No, I haven't. No, I, no haven't. I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Well, well it's sometimes so nice. helpful to eat garlic, 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 garlic soup. soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Just chop, chop, chop a whole, whole head, whole head of, garlic of garlic and cook it in the chicken, the chicken stock. stock. In the chicken we, stock. Try. Try it. Try it. It, Try really it. Works. it really works. It it's really, really works. works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Yeah. Yuck. 
That person that is awful. 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 That person awful. Very good. Okay, so we're going to stop a little while and I'm going to take attendance. Remember just to turn your camera on and uh, say um, hello or present. Okay, we have Jenny. Present. Thank you. Sergio Alberto Sosa, it's not here. And uh, Andres Osvaldo Ramos. Presente, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Presente. Thank you. And we have Tatiana Flores. Presente. Okay, very good. <laughs> we have Carla. Carla was there. I don't know what happened. Okay, Carla Mendes. Okay, very good. Hello. Very good. Carla Mendes, excuse me. We have Erica Paulina Rivera Janes. Por ahí andaba Erica. I don't know what happened, but I will just place a present. We have also Floor. And um, Floor. Por ahí anda Floor. Present. present. Okay, very good. Uh, we have Carlos Emilio Contreras. Present. Okay, then uh, we have the last one, Julia Carolina Monge Rodriguez. Present. Very good. And also there is Daniel Edgardo Alvarez Hernandez, por ahí estaba, y Joel uh, Payes. I'm here. Okay, very good. Okay, so we continue with the, with the conversation. And uh, we have this one. So we're going to practice this in pairs. So right now, we're, as we did before, I'm going to say the names and you're going uh, to practice the conversation. Okay, we have Joel and uh, um, Floor. Okay, jo Floor will be Joan and uh, Joel will be Craig. I cry. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop. ¿Cómo se pronuncia este? Just chop. Chop up. Chop up. So puede decir chop, chop up. up o la puede unir en decir chop up. Chop up. Just chop up. A whole head. A whole, whole, whole head. Perdón. Con J. Whole. Con J. Whole. 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 Yes. Whole head whole of head garlic. Of Whole head of barley and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That's so awful. Very good. Okay, we have Julia and let's say Carlos. Okay, Julia will be Joan and Carlos will be Craig. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I have not. Well, it's it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. You chop up a gold head a head of garlic and cut it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay, very good. 
Okay, so let's move on to Carla and Andres. Carla will be John and Andres will be Craig. Hi, Craig, how are you? Uh, not too good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you, you're right. And have you take anything for it? Hello, hola, hola. Yes. Yes, we hear you. Okay. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Well, it's time, sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just shoot. Chop up a full head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Okay, okay very good. And now we have Jenny. Okay, Jenny, you are Joan, and I will be Nadia Más Me Falta. Okay, and uh, I will be Craig. Hi, Kyle. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And, I, and have you take anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic. So just show up a whole head of garden and suck. try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay, very good. Okay, do you have any question? You have any question? Okay. ¿Qué significa cuando dice helpful? Helpful es si ha sido de ayuda. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic. Algunas veces eh, la sopa de, eh, ¿cómo se llama? De ajo ha sido de ayuda. En este caso. Okay, any other question? Helpful, ¿qué es eso? Helpful es como eh, de ayuda. Se ha sido útil. Uh, Any other question? Okay, very good. So let's move on uh, to the next part of this. Okay, and we have this part. We have the shoe part, okay? So what should you do for a call? If you see, we have, it's important, it's sometimes helpful, it's a good idea. If you see, it's important to get a lot of rest, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup, and it's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Okay, so remember, so when we have shul, we use for advice. For example, Let's move on uh, to the some um, health problems here. Okay, so if you see, we have a sore throat. Sore throat is el dolor en la garganta, right? So what is that, the advice? Take some vitamin C, put some ointment on it, drink a lot of liquids, go to bed and rest, put a heating pad on it, put it under cold water, 
take some aspirin, see a dentist, see a doctor, or get some medicine. What should, what do you think that a correct um, payer should be? Letter A. Say some vitamin C. Okay, sore throat, it will be letter A, take some vitamin C. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kind of, because we have the flu here. Okay, it works, put, um, Mm -hmm. A lot of liquid. Podría ser. Sí. Uh, it could be. Maybe G. G. Letter G. Take some, take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. It could be. Okay, now. Using shul. ¿Cómo lo haríamos? Uh, you should. Uh, take some aspirin. You should take some aspirin. Very good. Okay, number two, what about a cough? Drink a lot of liquid. Okay, it could be take a lot of, okay, drink a lot of liquids. Okay, using shul, como sería? You should drink a lot of liquid. Very good. You should drink a lot or lots of liquids. What about a bad cake? Bad cake is el dolor de la espalda. Right? That's a bad cake. Dolor de la espalda. Get some medicine. You... Okay, using shoe. You to get some medicine. You get, uh, you, you should get some medicine. Okay, it could be, podría ser una opción. Okay, what about a fever? Put in on, yeah. Mm -hmm. Letter F. Letter, uh, letter C, or which one? Or which <coughs> one? Well, dijo, Jenny. Letter F. Put, F, put it under cold water. Okay, I don't think if the fever could put in the cold water. Um, you can see, probably you can see, uh, you should see a doctor or you should drink a lot of liquids. Okay, estamos, acuérdense, puede ser de varias opciones con respecto a esto, con respecto al ejercicio que estamos haciendo. Ok. So, it could be you, you should drink a lot of liquids or you can see, or you should see a doctor. Very good. What about a toothache? Toothache, Sir, yes. What that mean? It's some ointment on it? Ointment es un ungüento o es la crema, el ointment. Ok, un cuento puede ser el Big Vaporuf, que es como, es un cuento o, o una crema. Ok, so, what about a toothache? Puede ser que estamos utilizando, estamos utilizando el shoe. You shoe, you shoe, you shoe. You should see a dentist. Very good. What about a bad headache? A headache is a dolor de cabeza. What about a bad headache? You should put a headache pain 
on it? No. no. Hitting pad on it. The hitting pad is una una como bolsita pero caliente. No sé si está acá. No, no aparece en, en these pictures. Pero es cuando, básicamente es cuando se tiene the flu. Ok, to put a heating pad on it. Ok, you can use that one. But regarding a bad headache. So, probably you can use, um, let me see what is the medicine, an aspirin, excuse me. You should take some aspirin. Okay, it should be an, an option. Okay, what about a porn? You to put some ointment on it. Okay, could be you should put some ointment on it. O puede ser también you should put it uh, under cold water. Okay, puede ser otra opción. Okay, remember, this is an advice. Just to give an advice. And what about the flu? You should go to bed. Okay, you should go to bed and rest. Very good. That is the way uh, we advise. Okay, remember, should is to give advice or suggestion. Very good. I will share this screen and I will move on uh, to the next part. Okay, let me just go to this part. And I will share the screen. Let me know if you can see it. Can you see that part? Yes. We see. Okay. If you see here, uh, there is a little, uh, some examples using a, a shul. Okay, so the word should answer my good morning greeting. Okay. This is in positive, right? So affirmative. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. <clears throat> the supervisor should use a greeting in his email. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Okay, aquí son, se está mostrando cómo se usa el should. En, en la primera es como una sugerencia, de hecho todas son como sugerencias o consejos de dar de una buena conducta. Porque si nosotros se nos dice buenos días, tenemos que contestar buenos días. O Esa es la forma de ser amable. Ok, pero si yo digo, si yo le digo al guardia o al custodio que está ahí en, en la entrada del edificio donde trabajo, buenos días y no me contesta, so por eso está la, prim la primera eh, oración, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. Ok, that is a good manner or a good behavior. Now, in negative we have the other part. Darío should not use many emojis in his email. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not short shout at you. Okay, in this case, if you see, we use the negative part. Okay, so I will share this and I will send a link. I will share a PDF. Um, look at the chat. No sé si pueden ver todos. Voy a okay, compartir. No sé si pueden todos ver el link que les acabo de compartir en el chat de Zoom. Lo 
pueden ver. Pueden accesar, eh, si pueden accesar, si no pueden accesar, perdón, me avisan. Okay, and then you should have a document like this one. Okay, they are, these are more explanation about how to use should and should not. Or the contraction of sh which is shouldn't. If you see the, fic the picture, you shouldn't watch TV so much. Si usted se fija ahí, la muchacha está como que zombie, right? So that's why the mother or her friend says you shouldn't watch TV so much. When we use should, we need to use the base form of the verb. Okay, and uh, that doesn't, uh, it doesn't change if we use with he, she, or it. So if I say I should, he should, she should, it should. Or the other way around, which is in negative, he, I, we, you, and they, he, she, it, shouldn't. Plus the base form of the verb. Okay. If you see here, we have these subject pronouns, should doesn't change or shouldn't doesn't change at all. And then we have the base form of the verse in this case is do, go, stop, and write. We have some examples here. Um, someone, okay, should do something. It's a good thing to do or the right thing to do. Lo que estamos hablando anteriormente. Eh, las, de, de, es decir, de la mejor manera o de una buena conducta. Cuando utilizamos should. Es cuando se hace lo apropiado en, con respecto a conductas. Eh, si, lo ponemos, si lo ponemos en contexto con el, el área de trabajo. Okay, there are some examples. Thomas should go to bed earlier. He usually goes to bed very late and he's always tired. It's a good movie. You should go and see it. Okay, so because I like the movie, I think that you should see it. Okay, when you play tennis, you should always watch the ball. Which way should we go? left or right if you see there is a question but the question is start with which way and then a should before the subject and then we have the verb now the negative form we have in part b shouldn't or should not it's not a good thing to do or it's not the right thing to do Si lo ponemos en contexto con las conductas, no es una buena conducta el que esté haciendo. Si vimos en la conversación, si se acuerda de la conversación de Claudia, eh, estaban hablando de, de una persona que eh, para ellos el chatear en una, en una reunión de trabajo no es correcto. Y en realidad no es correcto porque no se le está prestando atención a lo que El, el hablante está diciendo. Okay, so that should avoid those behaviors. Okay, examples. Tom shouldn't go to bed so late. You work all the time. You shouldn't work so hard. Okay, so for him it's not a good way that work all the time because probably he doesn't pay attention to his family. Ok, preguntas, ¿cómo utilizar el should y el should not? ¿No hay preguntas? No at all. Oh, com, sí, teacher. Dígame. Yo estoy ahí. Ok, eh, primero, ¿el should se usa para, para preguntas también o solo para...? Estoy con esa duda. Podemos utilizarlo en preguntas. <risa> Don't worry. Podemos utilizarlo en preguntas. Por ejemplo, aquí hay una pregunta en la eh, sección A. 
which which way should I should we go? If you see, sí, which sí, way ahí, should we go? Mi duda es la siguiente. En ese caso, ¿a dónde iría el sujeto? Después del should. Si iría esta, después del si usted show. se fija, tenemos we. El, el should y el, y el verbo va a ir en, en me, eh, entre el sujeto. El sujeto va a separar okay. el should y el, y el verbo. Y cuando digamos es una respuesta nada más, no es una pregunta, va a ir antes el, del should, el sujeto. Sí. Okay. Por ejemplo, I can say, eh, pongamos algo que se me ocurre ahorita, usted me está vendiendo un, cel dos, un celular. Y eh, Carlos me está vendiendo otro celular. Uno de los dos es mejor que el otro. Entonces yo le pregunto a Carla. Carla, uh, what cell phone should I take? Or should I buy? Ella ya conoce los celulares que ustedes me están vendiendo. Entonces yo le pido como una ayuda a Carla. What cell phone should I buy? Si usted se fija, el should va antes de I, que es el sujeto, y después de I va el by, que es el verbo. Y Carla me dice, you should buy, en ese caso, you should buy a Jenny's cell phone. O you should buy Carlos cell phone. Ok, clear? Clear. Ok, very good, welcome. Ok, so we don't go over, no nos vamos a ir a la, a, la, a la sección C, porque no es, o sea, sí es parte del show, pero no va enfocado a lo que estamos en la clase. You can read it at home or after the class, and also you can go to party as well. Ok, right now, what I want you to do is at the exercise on the second page. So we are going to work together. So first of all, we are going to complete the sentence using should and uh, one of the verbs. We have brush, go, read, visit. We have watch, which is already used in number one, and we have wear. For example, number one, when uh, you play tennis, you should watch the ball. Okay, aquí vamos a utilizarlo en positivo. Number two, you look tired. You, ¿qué sería ahí? You should go. You should go to bed. Very good. You should go to bed. Okay, number three, volunteer. Volunteer for number three, we have you, we have your teeth after every meal. ¿Qué hacemos con los dientes? Después de cada comida. Brush. Okay, very good. You should brush your teeth after every meal. Okay, meal es el tiempo de comida. En este caso sería Deberías de lavarte los dientes después de cada comida. Number four. The city museum is very interesting. You. Ahí sería you should go it. Ah, uh, no. Porque el go es de ir. Uh, Tenemos uh. it al final. You should visit. You should visit it. You should visit. Visit it. Or visit it. Okay. Number five. When you are driving, you. You should wear. You should wear. Okay. A seat belt. 
Okay, where is usar el, el garment, la ropa, the clothes? I wear glasses. Okay, I wear a watch. Okay, when there is a watch. I wear a bracelet. Okay, I wear earrings. Okay, I wear necklace. Todo lo que viene accesorio y cosa de ropa, we need to use wear as well. The seat belt. I'll need to wear the seat belt. Okay, number six. It's a good book. Read. Should, you should read. You it. should read it. Very good. You read should it. read it. Okay, so we have a number two, you go to bed. You should go to bed. Number three, you should brush your teeth. Number four, you should visit it or visit it. Number five, you should wear a seat belt. And number six, you should read it. Very good. So when we have, let's move on to the second part. Make sentences with shouldn't, y le vamos a poner so, y después lo que sigue. We have an example. You watch too much TV. So the example is you shouldn't watch TV so much. Okay, we have. You work too hard. ¿Cómo sería ahí? Uh -huh. You work too hard. What should be the sentence there? You shouldn't work too so hard okay you shouldn't work so hard you el shouldn't tú no, no el tú no idea mm -hmm. you shouldn't work so hard okay number three he eats too much Sería. He should not eat. Ahí sería sin ese. Eat too much. Okay. He should. He shouldn't. He shouldn't. Eat, ahí está lo que, ajá, y después, ¿qué so sería? Much. So much, very good. He shouldn't eat so, so much. much. Number four, she watches TV too often. She watches TV too often. She shouldn't watch TV so much. So often, Zaria, but so the, often. okay, she shouldn't watch. Be el otro, ¿no? <laughs> okay, she shouldn't watch TV so often. Acuérdense que no vamos a modificar el verbo, no le vamos a poner el verbo va a ir en su forma base. En number five, you talk too much. You shouldn't talk so much. Very good. You shouldn't talk so much. Okay, so number two, it is you shouldn't work so hard. Number three, he shouldn't eat 
so much. Number four, she shouldn't watch TV so often. And number five, you shouldn't talk so much. Very good. Do you have any question? Alguna pregunta con respecto a este ejercicio? Acuérdese que eh, si lo ponemos en contexto en relación al trabajo, el should es para decir que uh, debería de hacer o de practicar una conducta buena o que estamos diciendo que esa conducta es buena y el shouldn't estamos diciendo que esa conducta no es buena. Ok, guys. So, let's move on to the textbook. Now we'll move on to this. I think, okay, let me just to move on to the textbook here. Okay, we have it there. Okay, if you see the textbook on page 32, we have uh, some uh, activ uh, activity number six. We have some suggestions about the next situation at work. For example, in this case, Peter is new, is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. So in, the, in order to write, or in order to give an advice or telling him that a good way to ask things, or to the good way to give orders should be in this way. Peter should ask polite request, or Peter should say please when he asks for something. Okay, so let's move on to this. Number two, when Carl is angry or things are not he expects, he shuts. ¿Cuál sería una buena conducta? de decirle que debería de actuar de distinta forma. Y eso, solo tenemos un par de minutos, chicos. We finish. Eh, uh, I can say, um, uh, she shouldn't shout. Uh, no, Carlish uh, shouldn't shot when he's hungry or uh, things are not as she had split. Carl is a, is a man? Carl is a man, yes. Uh, it's Carlos. Um, okay, Carl. Carlos shouldn't shot. Okay. When, when did I? When, when, things, when things are not as he expects. No, but I, I, I had to say a uh, car shooting shot mm -hmm. when he is hungry or he are not as he expects. Okay, very good. So car shooting shot when he is angry or things are not as he expects. Okay, very good. Okay, um, my assistant never uses a salutation in her email emails. Salutations are greetings, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, what should be that? My assistant should use a uh, salutation in her email. In her emails, very good. So my assistant should use salutation in uh, her emails. Okay, very good. So the next part of this is Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She louds very loudly. Huh? 
what should be or what should she um how should she act or how should shouldn't act we can say lucy shouldn't uh huh. Shouldn't tell joke in the office. Okay. She shouldn't shouldn't laugh very loudly. Very good. So we can say Lucy uh, Lucy shouldn't tell jokes in the office. Oh, you can say Lucy uh, should tell jokes in the office, but she shouldn't uh, doing do it in a loud way o a loudly way podría Lucy decir um, hacer bromas pero no decirlo de una forma ruidosa ok very good so do you have any question alguna pregunta no questions Okay, so let me just share the last part of this. And uh, we go over to, we say the good of bad behavior in business. So what we're going to do is this part. Okay, so the first question, we're going to go to the review. What did you learn in today's class? ¿Qué aprendimos en la clase de ahora? How that should, will mind, will you mind, um, cool. Okay, so we review the um, cool and would you mind. Okay, these are for request. Okay, and also uh, we went over some suggestion. Also, we covered the how to use wool. Um, excuse me, how to use should and shouldn't. Okay, what new vocabulary did you learn? ¿Qué vocabulario aprendieron? Learn, borrow. Learn, borrow, very good. Teacher. Yes. What does it mean? Greet. Greet es un saludo. Greet? Greet es saludar. And handshake? Handshake, handshake is this one. When you put this one and say handshake, that's a handshake. Okay, yes. Loud, loud and loudly. Loud es fuerte. Loudly es un adverbio que sería ruidosamente. De una forma escandalosa, en el caso de que estamos hablando de Lucy que dice que eh, hace eh, bromas en el trabajo, pero de una forma escandalosamente. Ok, um, now, we went over to the grammatical structure, like we should and shouldn't. Ok, what is it should for? What is it shoe for? Para que se utiliza shoe? Recomendación debería, no sé. Okay, yes, we make a suggestion of when we uh, say that a behavior is good. Okay, when and what shooting is for? Para que es el shooting? is the other way around, right? When we say that a behavior is not correct, okay? So, just give me one example, using shoe. Un ejemplo de utilizando shoe. You should take a shower after play football. Okay, very good, you should take a shower 
after play soccer or play football. Okay, football, remember, football is el American football, that is, and soccer is the del balompié. Okay, now, give me an example using shooting. Julia, do you have an example using shooting? Carla? You shouldn't drink too much cock. Okay, you shouldn't drink too much cock. Oh, Coca-Cola, right? That should be Coca-Cola. Very good. Okay, guys, um, I just, um, I will, since it's a rule to pass the second attendance, I will just mention that people uh, were in, in that class. Sergio Alberto Sosa, we don't have it. Uh, basically, that is the only one who didn't answer today. Okay, guys, do you have any question? Alguna pregunta, alguna duda, algunas eh, queja? No hay. Ok, solo acordarles, uh, tienen que hacer las tareas y vamos a insistir, voy a insistir en esto todos los días. Si tienen preguntas mm -hmm. sobre la tarea o algunos ejercicios, so let me know eh, cómo se llama y hay que hacer eh, el midterm. Algunos no lo han hecho todavía. Si no ha hecho el midterm, le aconsejo que haga las tareas primero que es basado a los temas que hemos estado viendo anteriormente. Ok, guys, if there's no question, so see you tomorrow and have a great night. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.